mean, they want to try and force something to happen here, Clint. This is like the one part in the game where they're going to have an advantage for the next, like, a while. I mean, this is just a very awkward death for the Nature's Prophet. To be fair, it's not dead yet. And uh, now the egg comes down. Uh, they might actually be able to turn this around. Featune on top of them, but doesn't actually find the engagement. Dominic does just manage to get down to the low ground with the onslaught. Buyback from respect at the moment. Roll forwards once again there on top of Dominic. Dominic now does have buyback if he falls here, which he shall. 90 seconds. Run Kushi. Oh, Kushi, that's very brave, but he's got the Satanic. Just heals up to full immediately. Look <laughs> the damage. Holy crap. Just turns it into paste. v has to back himself away from this one. You've got to be a little bit careful now. Your Weaver is silenced up with no BKB. Another yeah. egg coming on down. They're not going to kill it. Stun out onto the Weaver. And Kushi needs to be careful here. He doesn't have the Aegis for that much longer, but he does do so much damage. Chasing down on v Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting right on top of him. I think he actually kind of wanted to die there. I'm not sure. The science out from Afro is going to be able to cancel out that pulverizer as Monkushi continues on chasing oh, here. Stun. Nice one usage of the one one Well, no, the rock, it finds him. And Hex out onto the Weaver. Now the Shadow Step. They need to help him. They need to do something, but the Abyssal Bay comes down onto Dominic. Stops him being able to Rapier. help out. Now the Rapier's on the deck. He's going to be picked up by the Spectre. Spectre now with Rapier in her hands can turn us around. Kiyotaka's gone, though. v is getting low as well. Monkushi, Monkushi fighting up the Spectre. Wants his Rapier back and is going to be forced out, but he has Refresher if needed. Double stun. Not bad, not bad, but the follow-up just not really here at the moment. They're not quite ready to follow up on this one. And oh my god, that dragon! That's not a dragon! Oh my god, the VG's oh. coming in on this one as well! You gotta respect the Weaver, guys! You have to respect it! And the Spectre's gonna fall as well. Another attempt to dare step up onto the Klim base. Okay, this is really good now for Root it up. Yep, there's yeah, that, uh, Wrath of Nature coming on through. Weaver, big hits coming on out. I mean, don't forget, he's got the Aegis. He is going to be coming back into this, but he doesn't have Dragon Form for another seven seconds. We'll be able to use it pretty Drop damn it quickly then. As uh, in comes your Spirit, dealing a lot of damage on the front lines, but also taking a lot. And the Pulverize comes out on Tim again, and that's going to seal his fate. Another hero dead. Buyback's coming out, though. They want to try and make this into a fight. v trying to find a way in through the backlands, but again, not doing enough damage to Sweden Strong, who's able to just sit on the backlands and cast all of these demonic purges. Ramses and v just stunned up for the time being. Shira, he is in the middle of everything, taking a ton of damage, but is it gonna do anything? I mean, Shira goes so down, but V-Tune is gone, the Weaver and the Conker, they're doing the work together. The a egg? big egg coming on the back lines, trying to bring down Sweden strong, but the rest of the team coming on through, but so in comes the attacker to back it off. It's gonna let the egg go off, but still, Weaver is completely uncontested in this fight. Finally, they get a bit of damage out onto him here. He needs some help, actually, but he's just gonna keep on fighting. Go he's gonna keep on going. He needs to go into the fountain. He will do that, but the Ancient is taking some hits here they have to fortify up which means the fortify is down it's they one more layer of defense peeled away from the side of klim double buyback as well First oh, triple buyback. Viewer, right i'm getting ganked with this screen <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's a DK, lot. And immediately oh. jumping in, Makushi just taking chunks. Ramses, he wants the throne. He wants to deal damage to the goddamn buildings. I'm not he sure he's going to get a chance to do so, though. He's just doing too much he's damage. Makushi, he's going for it as well. He doesn't have the health, though. Enchant Remnant comes out from Kiyotaka, who's also just trying to go for it. Here comes a disruption, what? though. They take down the Spectre. They go for the all in, and it's just not paying off. Oh, my God. A complete disaster. A blender this ancient is as it takes down every single nine pandas heroes rapiers scattered across the deck right now Monkushi, he's coming down the middle lane this game is done shut that i mean there's nothing they can do oh, gg no. is cold that will be it now, really fun. so they know they're rotating all right 30 seconds until it moves this is everything they're gonna get it in time and i think Super are coming too late to this can they bring it down in time chewin is not here oh god rooted is this fight going to go terribly for them? Roche down below half HP. They're coming so in a second too late. Chrysalis, he has the jump. Can they go in in time? Tries to run through Chrysalis. The Aegis is going to be on the deck. Do they have enough yet? Or he kicked out. They're after Charlie. And then what's gone again? The charge through. Chrysalis managed to take the Aegis. They jump in, find the action scepter. But if they all die here, it won't matter. But Charlie, he's being brought down lower. The heels. Lower. And Chrysalis gets the heel back up to fall. Oh my god, the turn. That was everything. That was it all! Oh, an alliance. They're gonna hold it. Wait, Chun? Chun? Caught? 
Lincoln gets away. Charlie looking for a target. Who does he find? Lincoln's again found. Charge through. Down low. S4 there. Has the heal. Has the charge. The connection is there. The Sunray. Supernova. A lot of damage out. Do they have enough to kill him off in time? Oh, he's dead. Me, no way. But Chrysalis is going to go down. Charlie down to half HP. Now finds Puppy. Wants to kill him off. They also managed to find the kill on the image. Bloodseeker. Crumble. Almost there. Can he do enough damage? On to Chrysalis. Gets the old scepter lifted up. To run back in, starts to control, but he's not quite on to him. Charlie is gonna fall. Crystal manages to find one kill. Attacked by the cause. That's three dead. It costs two buybacks. Two in? Oh, you can find two moon shards instead of buyback. Charge on the Pablo. He lives. Hook shot in. Connects with the sun. Hanskin there. We'll get coil. The damage is out, and boom is gone. Mid one gone too. They're dead for two minutes. Pablo! That's so Another split use. Building oh. falling. Can they get the Mega Creeps? A full refresher bought now on Bloodseeker. So he's got double Abyssal Blade with everything else going in here. And four rounds. He is very slow though because he take out his face. Also, Fortnite boots on CK and doesn't have uh, travel. Oh, oh, it's happening. It's happening. They Mega. got it! <laughs> they just sent him in. Tier four. Yeah, it's going down. Buildings look, falling. Look at it. Falling sky. How does that fare? Dude, look at the range on it. How is that balance? What the hell's happening? Uh, it's a lion. Okay. Well, uh, control. S4. S4. Heal. No, he's gone. Do they have more? Do they have anything else? Mid one one lives. Down one. Mid one's there too. They're bringing him down low and dead. Charlie is gone also. They're winning the no buyback fight. They're doing it. Oh. Oh, Chuen, 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 he gets spotted! Trying to run away. The control is there. Another it just came back! He needs to escape. It's hard to drop, lock down a puck. Oh, no! They got him with the head! All right, also, did you notice the difference when mid one is alive? My god, he just destroyed that chaos. Man. Hook shot in. Buy back on one. He's back, Charlie. Can they do more? There it is. They found him caught right at the start. Controlling! Mid one in trouble. Mid one gone. Christmas. Can he do it all alone? He's taking down the egg one time. Now the little pressure. Starts to beat it to Charlie. Charlie. No one left to go. That's the die back. Can they take it down? Can they do more? They've got to get out. Alive, but they also kind of need to take the fight. Just no, they have to the force this fight. DK. Secret. They might have finally done it. As for trying to keep Pablo alive. Pablo has made so many fun plays with his knee. He's got hook. Now the hook shot. The control on the puppy. The meteor hammer. Pops down onto his head. The grave is there. They're fighting without their carry. They're but your face. They don't have mid one. Crystal is under control. The buyback comes out now from Pablo. Gets now onto the Phoenix. Phoenix dead for two minutes. Somehow, some way, secret. They are going to take this game. No buybacks left. And Alliance suffered the most tragic of defeats. Oh and my. 85 minutes in. Unbelievable. The last tip goes to Charlie from Yemen. Savagery of the highest order. Really? Unbelievable. Uh, you can always try. You know, and they have some to disengage if things go bad. What? They're calling their couriers. Their couriers, they're out in them. Refresher for the Earth Spirit this early on. That's the first life of Gabby just removed. Now it's going to be activated to BKB, so he stays on the cliff. Oh, nicely timed rolling roller, but Raven quicker on the BKB is off and now joining the fight. Song of the Siren is not going to be good enough to save Natsumi. He's down to four. They're down. down. Skem, he's going to be TP and into this fight as Jing holding back these supports with that time lapse. Low and dying here, and dead is Raven. They get on top of a Mac, refreshed here, bringing the second BKB charge into play as Tim's trying his best to finish it off this fight, but he's just a mere lion. Or target. Line up that Ice Blast, line up the Finger of Death, and go for it. This is a good way to start. Gabby just taking a beat. Lots of damage being stolen yeah, no from him. Up, but no save. And four steps, didn't they? Glimmer can't be used. Not too useful. As Mac now jumping in. Look at the magnetize onto three. Both support silence rooted and killed off just yeah, we'll like that. Double buyback. Double buyback as Mac has kind of rolled through the base. He did use the refresher. Has another magnetize. Just looking for the TP play out as Ravens BKB wears off Mac. I feel like you need to play. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Big fight. Not to me. He gets the BKB. Mac, though, he's found Raven. Raven will be forced to use his BKB, but a nice stun onto Mac. He didn't get his off. Ice Blast, Finger of Death, everything now onto Mac. He gets his BKB off, but it's too soon. Natsumi as well has hit the deck as Cox is just going to have to TP out. 
Ox has been located. They know that there's no BKB here actually on Raven, but Ice Blast is incoming Ice Blast. besides the fight. Ice Blast did connect on the two of them. Jing is here as well. Finger of Death avoided by the mirror image. Cox, though, is going to get oh, that time lapse to try and save him. They push him away from the boat, but it's not going to matter much as Jing also dies. Catch a glimpse of them. Indeed, they have. They know that they're trying to go up there. Not too many as well. Has been scouted. It's oh, two Triple stun. stun into the triple torrent. Raven tearing them apart. That's it. Yeah, it's okay. over. The fight's already did. done. Oh, yeah, Cox. Gabby. Cox didn't even. I'm not listening to your song. What did Cox even do? I heard him song. He didn't TP out. What does he think he's going to do? He has no TP, sir. Oh, he didn't. Yeah, never mind. Oh, there he goes. He is it's not like oh. a mega earth spike in a triangle. Scan BKB active. He's trapped two inside of the sprout. In goes Mac. A huge oh, magnetize. Mac. There's the torch storm. Not too many. He's winning the 1v1. No, he's lost the 1v1 versus Gabby. Wasn't really much of a 1v1 because oh, Jing was BKB. there. Jing didn't save him either with the time lapse. Mac, he's just going to die in the midst of five heroes and all of the Kunkka water park. So oh, Carlo would be quite the catch here, but he gets the four staff just in the nick of time. Mac is going to be on him. He does catch him. Nice silence onto Raven as Mac is going to be able to roll away. Carlo's still alive. Torn Storm off. I don't really think that the Keep Fam like the look of this fight, but Cox, he's got no choice but to stand his ground and try and sing a song a bit more as Gabby's BKB finally wears off. He's got a refresher, but may want to save it for the second fight. Carlo on the high ground, Scam TP on over him, another force down the low ground, Natsumi trying to stand his ground in spite, that's a pretty good nullifier here actually, and now the Scythe onto Raven, but it's all over now, it's all ended, Scam, he finds the BKB button, he's going to be able to stand his ground and TP away, but he's been leaving Mac, and now Cox just to fly up into the Torn Storm, Abed letting loose the hells of the sea, as he pulls back Jing, takes Cox, rips him out of the ocean and kills him, no buyback for him, there's that little code you were looking and asking about, as Raven is going to lose only his first life. They do get through Carlo at the least. Mac has no more utility here. BKB on cooldown for 50 seconds. Natsumi back in this fight and just immediately dead. Overestimating the strength there of the Nullifier as they're now Hex and killing onto Scam. And that's just GG. That's that's the game. It's over. Blacklist, they hit us with the reset. Baby pandas. It's just so crazy. It's just impossible to poke Nefret. Like... He's insane. Okay, it's not impossible. Um, it's not impossible. That's more than a poke, though. That is a prod, but it's... Oh, Depth Shroud! Depth Shroud! Depth Shroud saves him! Ooh, he gets away, blinks himself out. And how is that committed as well, so... Kami, happy to kind of sit here on the front lines with his Tempest double. Very, very hard to bring it down. Just kidding. Super easy to bring it down. Bin from Zaya, that's a big commitment comes in. Uh, kind of gets Jitsu here, but it's it's not quite enough. Nefret's going to have to pop the BKB, but don't forget, Refresher Orb's still available from him, so he'll be okay. Klee, once again, Lays just focusing on those tier fours, trying to bring them down. They need to get themselves away, though. They're starting to lose heroes on the side of Klee. Already two dropping. All the Brulings have Day been killed off, but Day's taking a lot of damage inside of this. They get the first life off the Arc Ward. Now he comes back, but he doesn't have anything defensive to help him through his second life, and he is now going to die. Phoenix chased down by Day's on the sidelines as well, so three here is dead one bought back and storm he's gonna be the only survivor on the side of Chat, someone can send me some food the uh <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Zayat's almost dead. He actually gets the egg off in time, and they've got their attack speed just ripped through it regardless. And that will no be a dead Phoenix. Yes, indeedy. Is this the opening we were looking for? The one hero without buyback is the one oh, they find. They'll find till buyback. the end as well. And he oh. uh, the two heroes with buyback without buyback are the ones they find. But look at the base. Lay's just running in immediately, trying to take down the tier four and doing a terrible, terrible job at it. His pandas just get killed instantly, but he did drag the heroes back. That's what's important. And look at the Tempest double as well, also causing issues. Sure, they both have mega creeps, but who has the pushing power? Who has the lanes? It is, of course, Klee. But they need to keep delay, delay, delay. That has been the game plan from Klee. Tempest double being jumped. Damage there. Merger comes in. They'll take out the Tempest double for the first time. It should be back on cooldown pretty soon. They've got the side. He's dead. Buyback. buyback available. They're going to have to start using these buybacks right now if they want to stay in this game. Storm, he's coming back used. into it in just a second. Boat's coming in. 
Blades gonna have to be careful on the sideline. He has got another split available. They're going for the ancient. They're going for the end. I don't think they can stop them. The PKPs are out from the side of Navi. They're split across the fight. But that said, the evasion from Kami. It's there. The orbs are doing the work. Nefrit, he's got to back himself away. Buyback's coming out from the side of Navi as well. It's Storm on the run. And they're going to be able to chase him down and get the kill. So the buybacks are used. But the kills are gotten. They have Book of the Dead. I think they can. Maybe they can backdoor it. It's half you think they've got the backdoor? They can go for it. No oh, way. They're, they're, go they're going for it. They're going, they're going for, for it. it. It's a bold strategy. Is it going to pay off? No. The ancient. It's getting low. It's getting low. Where is the Ark Lord? It's He's not here to defend it in time. Enough. They need more. They need more. They need more. Click, <laughs> click, click. Be enough. Click. Hit the oh. ancient. Hit the ancient. You got it. Ah. <laughs>